So we have two major developing stories today. One is with the ongoing, never-ending saga around inflation. We just got new data here, and it's not looking that good. And this is still largely before any impacts from tariffs. And the other story really caught my attention because apparently Putin is offering SpaceX a small nuclear power reactor for use on an upcoming Mars mission. But let's begin with inflation. So here we just got an update on core personal expenditures, which showed a 0.4% increase month over month. Month, which when extrapolated out over 12 months, that's an inflation rate, an annual rate of 2.8%, still putting it well above the 2% target. And this most likely means that the Fed is likely to keep rates constant and not cut them as many are hoping for. And if we continue to get inflation that's hotter than expected, the Fed may ultimately have to raise rates again. And if that does happen, a recession seems almost inevitable at that point. And we should also keep in mind that this current inflation data is largely before any impacts from tariffs. We just saw that Trump announced a brand new wave of 25% tariffs on all automobiles and automobile parts. And more likely than not, this will end up raising prices. And we can see that in the short term, these auto tariffs are having a pretty negative impact even on US auto manufacturers like Ford, GM, and yes, even Tesla. Now, to be fair, tariffs do have some positives. The Trump administration will point to the fact that this is going to increase domestic manufacturing. And they point to examples like Hyundai announcing $21 billion investment. They could also reduce the trade deficit, which has a direct positive impact on GDP and also things like national security. It's just that the cons are also very real, including higher prices for consumers. Other countries can retaliate with their own tariffs, and we could also potentially lose a lot of jobs in other dependent sectors. But okay, the other developing story we have is rather unique, and it was a proposal for Russia to supply SpaceX with a small nuclear power plant for Mars missions in the near future. Now, from the angle of geopolitics, politics, this is clearly an attempt to mend relations between Russia and the United States. But with that said, that doesn't mean that this isn't a real offer that could be really beneficial for SpaceX. Because if we compare NASA's capabilities on this topic to Russia, there is a pretty big, potentially complementary gap here. So NASA has very limited experience with actually implementing fusion power reactors in space. And instead they opt for plutonium-238 RTG reactors. But the thing with the RTG reactors is they don't produce a ton of power. It's really just enough to power one rover or piece of equipment. But when it comes to a Mars base, you're gonna need more power and the only real solution is a small fission reactor. And here Russia just has way more experience. So while the main purpose of this idea may be political in nature, in practice, it could actually have a large impact on the viability of a potential Mars base. 